It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Well, you already know that Nurse Amy can sing, huh? Well, I can. I can carry a tune. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, again, um, right now you can see I've got my winter jacket on. It's cold, but the sun is shining. Remember when I tell you guys, every day is a gift. Do not take it for granted. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about um, a letter. Um, a letter. <laughs> Ah, an email I got from Mary. Hello, Mary. Mary is from Canada. Oh my goodness. And this is what she asked me. How can you make um, people like you? Well, no, let me, I'm paraphrasing. In her email, um, she's asking me how I, um, how, how to impress because according to her, I always talk about wow them, make them like you when you're state testing. Okay, I'm gonna answer that question. I'm actually very, very happy to answer that question because this is something that I talk to my students about, okay? So, big thing. First of all, you gotta be polite. What is the point of being rude? If you're rude, <laughs> and my students can actually complete this sentence. You're rude to them? Oh, okay. All you need to do is shake their hands. If they're going to accept your hug, hug them and leave the building because guess what? You're coming back. You failed. <laughs> uh, my students who pass through my class will, will usually laugh at this because um, what would be the point in being rude? Arguing. Um, those things are not going to win you points. So I tell my students, when you go to a testing site, it doesn't cost you anything. Do not be your own stumbling block. Do not be your own enemy. Do not be the reason why you failed. It doesn't cost you anything to smile. Well, before COVID, I will always tell my students, smile. And something I do in class when I, you know, again, I stay with my class for a period of two weeks. Each class is a two week um, class with me. And when I see the strong point, I'm like, use that. That's going to work. Sometimes some people like to teach. I'm like, go for that. Some, they don't really talk. But then when they smile, it just lights up their face. I'm like, use that. And some are just always so personable. You know, they're talking to the patient. They're talking about the weather. They're talking about their families. I'm like, that, use it. One thing you need to know when you're testing, you're not only tested on your direct skill, which is the skill itself, but you're also tested on your indirect skill, meaning how you're personable, your interaction with them, your politeness, your niceness, your just your personality. If you have to fake it, go ahead and fake it. Even if you're a mean person, don't go there being mean that day. It's not gonna help you, okay? So, moving along, be polite. Be polite and they might say no to this, what I'm going to say now, but offer to help. What do I mean by that? Oh, can I um, help carry this book? Can I help fold this? Can I, guess what? They're probably going to say no to you, but at least they notice that, wow, this person is nice. Do you see what I'm saying? Now get me right here. I'm not saying you can bribe, bribe really. How are you going to do that? I'm not saying that you can um, you can do all that and not know the skill. No, you're still going to know the skill. However, your personality shines through. So they're rooting for you. They're rooting for you. I've had students come because of this teaching in my class, this coaching that I've coached people to go test and pass. I have people writing me to help them pass their skills. And I have a coaching class. And these are the things that I teach them. Be polite, smile. Now we have the mask, but guess what? When you're smiling, it still shows in your eyes. Your eyes become bright and twinkle and crinkle, and it's always a nice thing. When you pick up the phone and you're smiling, people can hear it and imagine it on the other side. So even if you have the mask on, smile. Help try, you know, um, help them 
um, not help them. Show that you care. Does that make sense? Like offer, that's the word I'm looking for. Offer to assist, okay? Offer to assist. What's the worst they're gonna do? No, thank you, but at least they notice you. Another thing, do not be sloppy. Do not be sloppy. Go ahead, do all that you need to do and do it neatly and professionally. Do not be sloppy. Sloppy is a turn off. Sloppy shows you don't care. Sloppy shows that, well, you know what? I don't mind coming back, <laughs> okay? Another thing that you want to be doing is confidence. I can tell you right now, confidence goes a long way. I've had students who are confidently doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like they're confidently doing the wrong skill. And I'm rooting for them. I mean, I cannot give them the, um, I can pass them, but it shows you how much confidence works. Someone comes in there and they're gonna put on um, uh, maybe anti-embolic stocking and they're doing it the wrong way. But they're so confident. They're so personable. The interaction between them and the mannequin or the, the actor, it's wonderful. The way they're going about it, I'm just like, oh my God, I want you to pass, but God, this, you're doing this skill wrong. <laughs> it's happened so many times in my class. You know, people turning people just totally, absolutely wrong. But they're so confident. Like now, I am going to take away the pillow from underneath the patient's head. Um, actually, you shouldn't, but it sounds like you know what you're doing. Confidence is you, you showing like you know what you're doing. People like to see that. Show that you know what you're doing. Be confident. If they correct you, I, let me tell you this right now. If any of your test observers actually correct you, they like you. And you're probably like wondering how. Well, if they are not impressed by you, they're just going to go ahead and check and move along however if they correct you if they take time out to correct you like no you didn't do that right please do not argue please do not well of course you're not going to be shouting but don't raise your voice i am so sorry again these are things i teach my students i'm so sorry um do you want me to show you how that should be done you know again it depends on how you respond to that Again, because you've shown them confidence, because you're smiling, because you're personable, because you're polite. They might be willing to like, show me how you would do that. So that is how to wow them. That is how to pass your skills. Be personable. And it doesn't matter that it's a mannequin. You better make sure you're talking to that mannequin like it's a live person. Okay? Do not be sloppy. Don't be sloppy. When you're sloppy like you don't care, well, they don't care too. If you don't care about your skill, they don't care. These are registered nurses. They're not testing for where the stage you're in. They've passed that. So it's up to you. Again, hopefully I've given you some added value today. And if I have, please smash the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that when I upload my videos, you're the first to see it. Please go ahead. Uh, follow me on Instagram. You can DM me. And um, again, um, if you're happy with these videos or you want, there's certain things, questions you want me to answer. I'll go ahead. Mary, hopefully I've helped you. And um, if you still need more clarity or any one of you out there, you know where to reach me. So until I come your way again, please be safe. Take care.